a beautiful tiny home hides inside this box truck built by a couple who wants to avoid monthly rentals. We're going to read into this story from the positive outlook, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Alinsky with another episode of Good News, Good Vibes, where I bring a good story as opposed to all the negative and bad stories that we have in the world. And this one from Positive Outlook is about a beautiful tiny home that hides inside a box truck built by a couple who wants to avoid the monthly rent. So perhaps while this uh, this story is obviously from, from the States, this could be an inspirational idea, so especially for young couples out there who are maybe are struggling with avoiding rentals, perhaps maybe this idea and inspiration may give you something different to work with here. Perhaps turning and converting a truck of some sorts into a some kind of home for yourselves may save you a lot more money than actually trying to pay for rent, considering how difficult it is for rent right now. Someone's obviously tried this method in another place and it's worked out well for themselves. So let's hear about this story and how it worked out for them. So a couple built a beautiful tiny home with care reflecting their love for simplifying adventure and sustainability. Eva and Bradley have lived in their tiny home for about two years after embarking on their journey into a nomadic lifestyle in Brandon's old 1986 F150 truck. Brandon built a really cool camper shell on it, which sparked the interest in van life and living on the road. Realising that they needed more space for a more comfortable lifestyle, they began planning a van conversion. So they spent two and a half years living in the truck, which sounds, might sound crazy to some. But during that period, they maliciously planned every detail of their future van while saving money diligently. Living through diligently allowed them to save to eventually buy a house. They believe that paying rent drains finances, so they choose a lifestyle that enables them to save money and enjoy life. Realistically, if you're just paying rent every month, your money just goes nowhere, says Bradman. And to be fair, that's true. You know, that you're just paying to for the accommodation that you're in, and then that's it, it's gone. You don't get that money back. So I, I get that. This is initially what the truck was, guys, before before they, they converted it. They spent their days at the beach embracing the freedom and joys of their unconventional lifestyles. This made them ha feel like happy campers to join the simplicity and excitement of their day-to-day -day experiences. Everest's favourite part of their beautiful tiny home is the kitchen. It features a beautifully stained a butcher block countertop and a two-burner uh, two gas stove. Is that the same truck? Is it really the same truck? It don't, I don't... It, no, it can't be the same one. Surely not. I will say, if it is, that's quite astonishing. That surely is not the same. <laughs> it is pretty... You know what? Considering, like, it looks... It looks very, like... It looks very good for itself, to be fair. Eva wishes for more burners that could build uh, in their next build since she loves cooking, especially now that she's recently gotten into it. Next to the stove is a, is a 15, 20 inch kitchen sink, ideal for washing many dishes. Below is the countertop is their main fridge, for which includes a small fridge on top and a sliding backup fridge for extra food. That looks, it doesn't, like, that's small, compact, but it's enough in there. Looks enough in there. Just that, I was assuming this, pit, this is just their kitchen. That's it there, what they have. Interesting. The kitchen also has a big pantry for storing snacks and goodies, uh, of course. The tiny home has a spacious shower with a 32-32 inch shower pan from uh, from home deposit and a nice uh, rainfall shower head. They fit a shower head, a shower in here. It has a 40 gallon fresh water tank and a 40 gallon grey water tank which lasts about 4 to 5 days with military style showers. They plan to install a bigger water tank in the next build to make it easier to stay off the grid for longer. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, that's that's how did they wow they fit that in there as well and it's got <laughs> that's that's i can't believe they fit that in the shower walls are framed up with quench plate and covered with frp boards which has held up for over two years and it's easy to clean meanwhile the bedroom features an all-size memory foam mattress from amazon a 32 inch tv at the foot 
a fan uh, and some book storage. Oh, they've got the fan at the top. Oh my god, and they've got bed here. Yeah, you can see you can see the the the, the space there. Wow, incredible. Yeah, you can see you can tell how low the head is there. Very very low head, but they managed. It's quite incredible. They have a fourteen thousand BTU domestic penguin two AC power unit power unit powered by a six hundred amp battery bank. Suitable for short use in hot weather, they use a use a generator to power the TV, fan, Xbox, and AC. It's got an Xbox. <laughs> the ceiling is covered with a five-inch ship lamp matching the color of the countertop and floor. The dining slash workstation area has a forty-two inch butcher block countertop, enough room for both to sit comfortably. So they've got enough space to sit comfortably there. So they've got this countertop here as well. Interesting. The large window provides a nice view while seated. The thick blank curtain blocks out the light. Uh, light. Uh, yeah, look, they've cut. The, they've got a curtain that's just small enough, small enough, so they can cover themselves from any out outlookers and whatnot. The tiny home power station includes a dimmer switch, a cigarette plug, a 110 volt plug, a smart CO2 detector showing temporary and humidity. The van has a full size closet with large mirrors and drawers for clothes. Extra shoe storage is repurposed for more clothes. What? Have you got more clothes? Wow. Let's squeeze the clothes into it. Oh, this is incredible. There's a surf rack for storing surfboards, allowing for easy access for wetsuits inside the van. The garage area includes a full size toolbox for tools, a hose for filling water. A 40 gallon fresh water tank connected to the water filter pump and a proponent water heater. Now, obviously, toolbox obviously is essential. It also has ventilation fans, exhaust, propane, fumes for hot air. Wow. This is one of the very fascinating. That's cool. The electrical compartment houses 300 amp hours of lithium battery, a 60 amp DC to DC charger, a 300 volt generator, a 40 amp MPPT charge controller. Uh, bus bars, a 12 volt fuse box, and 110 breakers. Eva and Brandon have launched a business building out custom vans. What? What have they done? Take out lungs or something to start out this business? Wow. The motto of our business is if you build it, yeah, you bring it, we build it. So whenever that'll be a truck, a box truck, a sprinter, a Ford Transit school bus, wherever it may be, you bring, you bring it, we'll build it. He said. And you can tour inside there by watching the video below as well. And you can also check out their, they've got an Instagram there, and you can also subscribe to their YouTube channel, Tiny Home Tours, if you want to see more of their tiny home videos as well. This is a cool story. I like this story. I like this. This gives you lots of ideas. You know, one of the things about in life is, you know, that when you, if you, you know, when you are living in a house or a home or whatever, you're stuck in that home. Being able to drive, being able to have a camper van or a caravan and turning that and be able to just drive and go to places wherever you've never been before and all that kind of stuff, that kind of traveling, you know, you can't take that. That that experience is life changing. It's game changing for people. You know, that kind of traveler entourage sort of thing is really a fascinating thing. And yes, you still have to pay, obviously, for petrol and whatnot for your travels on in that vehicle and whatnot. But. In terms of cost of paying for that in comparison to a home and a mortgage or rental cost, the difference is different. The stark contrast is totally different. And because you're always traveling as well, you're experiencing, you're seeing new things as well. Especially if like, say for instance, if you did one here in the UK, to, it had to convert a box truck or something like that into something idea that they, they've inspired to. And you take that and you travel it all around England and then you're going to take it up into Scotland or you take it across into Wales and you go into Northern Ireland across there. And then obviously you decide if you want to take it beyond that, you know, across a ferry somewhere else. You know, the possibilities are really endless when you think about it. It's a gr I like this story because it, I love this story because of how, uh, how, it, uh, how this young couple can now, they're making a living off an idea that they first initially started with. Now they're making a business out of it. Of course, they have a normal home now. But at the time, they didn't want their money to be wasted. And instead, they invested in something that's helped them out. And now they've turned an idea into a business as well as being able to go for the home for themselves. So it's a win-win all around for them. And it, it's a lovely story. But what do you guys think of this story? What do you guys make of their idea of a beautiful tiny home turning in a box truck into a caravan of sorts let me know your thoughts about that maybe some of you who are listening have a caravan of sorts of your own 
share your stories and more and what you think of this one in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button uh, and uh, share this across social media so others are notified of this video and subscribe because it really does help support the channel. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon. Thank you.